Hi, in this video I'm going to show my daily routine uh, for paired leaves for tier 9 attempts. I'm starting right off in uh, Lemoria Garpost at the entrance of Camasilvia. I pre order the um, yellowfin dried um, skull pins that I need for a quest, so I always have them ready because they're not always available in the marketplace. And then I take the quest to the stable keeper. Here we give the three dried um, fishes that we pre-ordered and we move to the NPC for the stable keeper quest. You can also take the other daily quest here but it requires you to fish for a long time so I usually avoid it. Then take the quest of um, all wisdom tree that we're gonna complete in uh, two different times one in the, the shitty tree forest and then when going back for the mansion daily These dailies here require you to kill different types um, of mobs that you can find all nearby the place. So just uh, look around, you can do the rotation I'm doing or, or whatever. There's uh, really a lot of ways to do this quest. And we're completing both the Shady Tree Forest dailies and half of the All Wisdom Tree daily by killing the big crab and the boars. Here, unfortunately, I didn't find the cuckoo eggs, but just chain channel. They're usually not very contested, just for the dailies, so you're gonna find them. Next we're moving to the Mansion dailies. Don't forget this, these are a very good end game grind spot, so expect it to be contested and fight for it. If you don't want to be bothered with PvP, you can probably just uh, do the daily by going randomly around and killing uh, whatever you in front of you. I usually prefer to do the main rotation. Now, as you can see here, I find someone in the spot and as proper grind spot etiquette, 
uh, as a gentleman, I go there and uh, ask for a duel for a spot. Our friend here doesn't seem to want to fight for it, so I try to gently move him away. I realize he's very tenacious, and I decide that conflict is not the answer, so I just set to grind alongside with him, be done with my daily, and, and move on with my life. Next we are finishing in the good old friends quest that we took at the start and then we're moving to the Dronara status. The good old friend daily varies every day, it alternates between uh, these pairs of NPC and one on Baltara Mountain and Old Wisdom Tree. Now these three quests that we're gonna take don't give you Peridot Leaves, but they give you the shards that combine, give you pure forest bread with, at the end of the day, still helps you towards your tier 9 attempts, so we're taking them anyway. I'm gonna just show you one rotation of the Ronaros daily because this is probably the one that takes the longest, especially depending on your class and your AP. Unlike Mansion, this place is huge and uncontested, so if you don't like this specific rotation, you can just pick whatever you want. And if you are tied with time, you can just skip um, the Ronaros dailies altogether.
After a note with the Runarius dailies, I move to the Fadus dailies. Now the Mimosa daily can be very tricky, but there is actually a place uh, full of Mimosas that I'm gonna show soon in the video if you're not lucky enough to get a Mimosa drop straight away in the, in the first spot. Around this red bear, uh, there is full of mimosas and I'm sure you're gonna get dropped there, if not just chain channel. Fadus, just like Runarus, is huge and mostly uncontested. It won't take you long to finish this quest, so just kill whatever you find in front of you and then uh, give the quests. I won't bore you with the full footage, but I really like this rotation next to these stairs. Now that we're done with all the killing quests, we're moving to Grana to finish the dailies. I start uh, at the Papu in the middle of the city. You just need to buy an empty bottle from the material vendor, go here in this uh, river, gather it, then filter it, and the quest is done. Next we take this quest to the NPC behind it, then we go into the library and take the quest that is there as well. Now 
Now, if you have CP to spare, you can do this quest as well. You can rent the flute for one CP and do this daily that gives you three leaves. Here's where we rent the flute and take another quest as well. Now, if you took the flute quest, you can do a 200 IQ play here. Um, since we have to do an escort quest, and everyone loves escort quests, you can combine that with the flute quest as well, that requires you to use the flute for 20 seconds straight. Now, the flute is a bit buggy, sometimes the notes just don't fall out, uh, just like this. Sometimes they. It seems like you're playing through the Fire and Flames in Guitar Hero. It's, it's kind of RNG. Just do this quest like this, uh, keep trying if. Um, if you keep failing and the notes fall too fast and just finish it. And that's it, we're done with the um, Grana dailies. And to finish off, I usually do two fishing dailies as well that you can unlock by doing a fishing quest line. Also, want to give a shout out to KiwiCat for helping me with these dailies. Now these two dailies require you to fish the easiest and the hardest fish to catch there. Um, I usually just do three or four casts and if I complete both of them that's nice, if not I just uh, leave it be. And that's it, now I go take the quest at Old Wisdom Tree and the last one at the Stable Keeper that we took at the start. And this should give you around 180 Peridot leaves every single day if you complete all of these quests. And it takes me around an hour and 20 minutes. I hope this video was useful for all the people that wants to start to do the Kama Silvia dailies and I wish you good luck with your tier 9 attempts. I personally do two attempts every Monday so if you want to check it out the link for my stream is in the description. But thanks for watching and have a good day.